what is good everyone welcome back to the retro world guys in today's video we are hitting up a bunch of different yard sales we're looking for cool stuff video games toys random nostalgic things let's go ahead and get into it computer games okay and then you got the xbox yeah. stuff here okay yep and then that i just Okay. <laughs> yeah, no problem. The bottom of the of I gotcha. Any controllers or anything like that laying around? or uh, Just this one. This just, one. We had an okay. Xbox controller, but it already went. Okay. How much do you have on these games right here? Uh, I think I was doing uh, three for a dollar, two for five. Two for five? Okay. Yeah. yeah, let me look through and see which ones I'm after. I'll but probably you, get a couple of them. If you want that whole stack, I'll throw this in for free and you can do whatever you want with it. Okay. <laughs> so it'd be, what, ten, ten bucks? Ten bucks. So I feel like that was a decent deal. We got this one on top, 3DS. Don't know the value, but hey, let's go. Oh, that's kind of cool. Little Mickey Mouse lunchbox. It has a little thermos. Oh, it does? It's it, so it looks old, too. It's kind of neat. Oh, yeah. Take a look at it. Oh, yeah, it does have the thermos. Oh, that's pretty cool. I know, but I didn't even look at it. Might be interested in this. Do y'all have a price on it? Dollar? Dollar? Okay. I'll pick it up for a buck. I'm going to look around and see what else you guys have. This is neat. Anything else like this maybe laying around? Nah. Okay. Any video games maybe hiding in there? I don't know. If you guys don't mind, I'll look through. I have games in my room. Are you looking? If you're playing them, I don't, you know, I wouldn't want to buy them off you, but if you're looking to sell any of them, I would definitely take a look. Is it, what kind of games are they? Um, Xbox One. Xbox One. Anything else like Nintendo or Sega or just Xbox stuff? I'd take a look. Star Wars, Phantom Menace, and... Clint Eastwood Collector's Edition. We'll see the prices, guys, but everything here is pretty cheap. So, Voltron and this X Men collection. Pretty interesting stuff. Kind of cool. Picked up everything here you're seeing and three games. And I don't know if we mentioned the price or not, but we settled at $20 for everything. We got a lot of these cool box sets. We got that vintage lunchbox and we got a few Xbox One games. So, not bad for 20 bucks. It's a two for five. Land of the Dragons, but look. Bush Gardens. Got this one. That one. I kind of want them. I don't know. I don't know if it's a smart purchase, but they're kind of cool. All right. I might get them. Guys, I went ahead and picked up a couple of board games. I thought these might be cool to have at the house. And I just remember having Boggle when I was a kid. So it was a dollar the nostalgia got me. Went ahead and got Scrabble because it was 50 cents. And then we got this one too. It was 50 cents. I was going to give her two bucks anyway. So I just saw this. I was like, all right, well, we'll make a deal. More stuff. A lot of plush. Thank you. You have a good one. Ooh, you got a lot of stuff for sale today, huh? Yes. <laughs> look With around. the dolls. Okay. Fill them up. I'll make a good deal. Okay. A lot of I toys. Yeah. Okay. I, 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 I need to go. Okay. Yeah, I'll look through here in a second. I'm going to look around and see what that's, else you got. That's good. That's cool. Fine. Just giving y'all a little taste of what some of these yard sales are like, guys. I know y'all like to see a little bit of everything. So. What the heck? <laughs> right. Tons and tons of toys of this one. Guys, look. Scooby Doo, Haunted House Hang Up. That's kind of cool. Hey, another one. Sticker book. Didn't use though. Coloring book. Ooh, spooky. Looks old. Dang, might be old, 1998. Kind of cool, though. All right, guys, we got, like, all this Disney stuff in here. Look at this. I'm going to ask them how much they want for the whole bag. It looks like vintage, I think. I don't know. It just looks interesting. Could be a bad buy, but I don't know, guys. If the price is right, I might, uh, I might get that stuff off of them. I'm going to look and see if there's, well, part of a... Part of a Rubik's Cube, oh no. Hey, who needs a chimchar? Eh, nothing in here I think I'm after, but just kind of wanted to pop in and look through. You just never really know. They made me an offer I couldn't refuse. $15. Oh, we're gonna have some fun going through this. Let's go. Guys, just got to this yard sale and something over here caught my eye. 
don't know if they're PC games. Oh no, Wii games. You notice those too? That's funny. Yeah. I'm looking at this one. Oh, cool. That's a fun game. Yeah, it is. Nice. You after any of these? Not really. Okay. Uh, you already looked through them. Yeah. It's yeah. A mouse. That's funny. <laughs> Spider-Man mod. Oh, oh, oh. Guys, right here. Oh, boy. 15. Guys, there's a bunch of Mario stuff in there. I think it's Happy Meal stuff? No, it's a blend. I mean, y'all know how I feel about Mario. Probably gonna get this whole, whole set. Oh, there's one of the vintage ones in there, too. And you get this. Ooh. Oh, man. What? Who's this guy? Kind of looks familiar. 96 Trend Masters. All right. Well, we might be buying a bunch of toys. Oh. I don't know if you went over there. I see turtles, though. Guys, a little anime mouse pad from Your Name. I think that's the name of the actual anime. I think it's literally called Your Name. Could be wrong though, but honestly, this is just kind of cool. I'm gonna ask them about this one. We're making a deal on the toys and we're gonna keep looking, see what other kind of stuff that we can find. All right, guys, I guess it's just a great day. We spent $37 on this giant box full of toys. There's a game in there, all sorts of stuff. Chubby Gorilla, what the heck? <laughs> Back at the house, let's take an up close look at everything that we just picked up. All right, guys, first things I wanted to talk about are these two right here. We've got this Mickey's Deep Sea Discovery lunchbox, and it did come with the thermos as well. Oh, man, I don't know how many of these lunchboxes we have found in the wild now for a good price, but we keep coming across them. This is one of those things I would love to keep, but it's not like a Mario or a Zelda one or Sonic or, you know, one of those. So I'm probably going to end up selling this one, but look at this. It's got the ears up top. I just thought this was too cool. I think this was a dollar, so could not leave this behind for a buck. And next up, I spent $2 on some board games. I really just wanted Boggle. It caught my eye. I remember we had this when I was a kid, and I thought for a dollar for some nostalgia, why not? And then after I picked this up, I saw Scrabble was only 50 cents. I thought, okay, I'll pick that up just for the heck of it. Why not? And somewhere in the back of my brain, I want to say I remember people talking about taking the letters from these games. You can bundle them up, and sometimes the letters alone have value. I don't know if that's entirely true. If I found anything with sold listings, I'd throw it up on the screen. But 50 cents, I figured, why not? And then... I just got this to make it an even two bucks. I was going to go ahead and give her the $2 anyways for the one and the 50 cents. And then I saw this and I was like, well, I guess we'll just make it two. So, yeah. So all of these and the board games you just saw were all at the same sale. And this, guys, this was a dollar. Am I actually going to start using it to hold my phone and give you all a steadier shot? Maybe. I'm not doing it right now. You'd think I would go ahead and start using it, but I haven't used it yet. I thought, all right, we'll give this a whirl. But yeah, $1 for that. These just caught my eye. You guys know at this point, if it looks interesting and it's cheap, I'm just going to go and pick them up. She said they were $2.50 each. I did notice this right here. It says the worlds of Bush Garden. So this one says Africa, and it looks pretty awesome. I don't know what these were for. Maybe like little lunch boxes, put some snacks in there. I don't know, guys. I'm just buying stuff at this point. I love it. Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay right here. Rawr. <laughs> then we got Elmo. I think this is probably from Bush Gardens, but it doesn't say, so I don't know. Just kind of grabbed it because uh, why not fill up the box? And then we got this one, which I thought was kind of the coolest looking one. We got Land of the Dragons. And I think this one said, yeah, so Bush Gardens as well. If I found anything on these, I'm throwing them up on the screen. Oh, no. But yeah, guys, let me know. Would you have picked these up or would you have left them behind?
And speaking of nostalgia, we've got Cartoon Network, we've got Scooby-Doo, Scooby Snacks, it's a sticker book, and this is a coloring and activity book. I think both of these are vintage, if I'm not mistaken, but these were kind of a throw-in. So these were part of a bigger bundle, which I'll show you all here in a little bit. And the lady was just like, you could just have these since I was buying some other stuff. So I thought these were cool. Y'all know I love Scooby-Doo and I grew up with Cartoon Network, so had to get these. I'll just go ahead and show you all the bundle I was just talking about. So guys, we have all of these, what appear to be vintage Mickey, Minnie, Disney figures. I don't know anything about these. You would think being in Florida, I would see stuff like this all the time. I really don't, not like this. Like this stuff looks pretty vintage to me. You can just kind of tell the quality, just the face. I don't know, is this gonna play out? Maybe, maybe not. Y'all know we love taking a little bit of a gamble here and there on this channel. So $15 for all of this, I thought, all right, let's just see what happens. But guys, there is a little bit more as well. So these are just the ones that I pulled out. There is all of this to go through. And once again, I don't know anything about any of this stuff other than it definitely all looks very old. I've never really dealt with like Disney type of stuff, Mickey mini figures. So who knows? Maybe a lot of this is just like old McDonald's stuff. I have no idea. It doesn't feel like McDonald's toys, but... I guess it is hard to tell. I'm going to have to do a lot of research on this, but this is the type of stuff I really, really love finding at yard sales. Yeah, sure. I spent $15. Maybe this stuff is worth absolutely nothing. I feel like it would be worth at least what we spent, if not more. So we'll do a little research and sometimes you just got to pay for your education as the homies in chase after the right price say. Will this play out? I'll let you guys know maybe in the discord or maybe on Instagram. So stay posted for some of that stuff. And a few more pickups. You guys don't see me picking up DVD stuff too often, but everything here i just thought was kind of cool and it was super cheap i think we got all of this right here for 10 bucks so this one actually is not a dvd it is a vhs so we have star wars the phantom menace and it's like this collector's edition I'll take a little peek at it look at that that's actually pretty awesome got this book in here oops and look at that so that i just thought oh <laughs> i just thought that was pretty neat you got this like maybe a little bit of a film strip i think uh, yeah, that's exactly what that is. That's pretty cool. And then there you go as well. The special collector's edition. I really doubt this has any value. Usually they mass produce a lot of these things like this, but this was just kind of neat. And I thought, Hey, the price was right. <laughs> Went ahead and picked it up right here. We have this Clint Eastwood collector's edition Voltron DVD set. Pretty cool. Let's see if we can pop it open. And that is what it looks like on the inside. So kind of cool. Has this like steel cover, I guess. I don't know. Over here we have Kill Bill. So this is pretty cool. This has one and two. Very, very awesome little set there. We have the X-Men collection. And then these caught my attention too. I love Thundercats. This one is season two, volume one. And then this is season one, volume two. But look at these covers. They're so cool. So yeah, once again, no idea if any of this stuff has value compared to the 10 bucks we spent, but I feel like it had to have been an okay deal. Next up, we got a couple of giant plush. We got this Darth Vader. I don't know what year he is from. Let's see if we can find out together. Star Wars. And I'll have to scan that later and find out. But yeah, giant Darth Vader was very cheap. And then we got this Donatello from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but he is a Build-A-Bear one. So got these very, very cheap as well. Could not say no. And guys, it would take probably three hours to go through everything in here. We'll go through just a little bit of it just because it would be probably too overwhelming. We do have this awesome Spider-Man, amazing Spider-Man since 1962 mug. I thought it was cool. I picked it up. We actually got, so pretty much everything you're seeing in this bin, I think if I remember correctly, was a total of $30. So I don't know what the math ended up calculating to but yeah 30 bucks for everything honestly this mug might be worth that alone probably not but <laughs> we have this right here i think this is from the anime called your name i don't know i've seen that movie but i can't remember right now off the top of my head it's a mouse pad kind of cool and then something i do want to go through i'll probably actually go through that over on the nintendo channel we got a lot of mario stuff in here so this is like part of bowser's ship 
we have the castle down there and we have all of these just different figures some of these are like the mcdonald's ones some of these are not so i'm probably going to do more of a deep dive on that over there and guys it's just freaking like bags of toys like all sorts of toys in here some stuff might be cool some stuff might be kind of whatever but it was so cheap i just thought okay i can use this stuff for giveaways in the future usually i like to go over everything in detail there's just way too much stuff in here so let's go ahead and get on to the other stuff and y'all know we got some games always one of the best things to come across but i do love toys as well so i'm stoked on all of it guys first up we have this game right here so is it tomo tomodachi life i have heard about this game i've never played it though kind of cool seeing a nintendo 3ds game so not gonna lie the value of that game definitely surprised me you guys let me know down below is it a game that you've played before is it a game that you're currently after you guys let me know what you think about that 3ds game got that one we got this one right here state of decay xbox one assassin's creed 4 black flag fallout 4 we got NHL 16, and all of this stuff was very, very cheap. Next up, we have NFS Heat, Need for Speed. And what else do we have? Do we? Oh, yeah, we have Red Dead Redemption 2. Great series. And this one was, what was this, Minecraft, I think? Oh, yeah, and we got Minecraft. So all in all, guys, a pretty amazing day. Just kidding, guys. I have been sorting through this box, and I pulled out a couple things that I thought were kind of interesting. We got this Boba Fett right here. Going to end up putting him somewhere on the shelf. We got this little M&M ornament. What's funny about this is I already have the green M&M, and it's the same like type of ornament. So I'm going to hold on to this as well. We got a little R2-D2. We got a couple of the newer turtles. Nothing crazy there. This I thought was pretty interesting. So this is is 1995 i believe and this is from showbiz pizza which was later turned into chuck e cheese so it does say down at the bottom let's see nine oh is that 85 yeah oh yeah 1985 my bad so kind of cool got this little guy over here this little bart i thought that was pretty neat i got this lisa we got Marge as well. And then we got this vintage figure right here. And he is from Independence Day. I think 90, what was it? Yeah, 1996. But yeah, guys, this uh, little box of wonders ended up being kind of cool. Gonna have some stuff to hold on to, some stuff for future giveaways and things like that. And then also, I completely forgot. I picked this game up too. I think they threw this one in. But we have Sean White skateboarding for the Nintendo Wii. It is complete. Might hold on to it. Might sell it off. Not entirely sure, but pretty cool, guys. All right, guys that's all i got for y'all today i appreciate all the support here on this channel drop some comments let me know about some of the stuff you saw in today's video was there something that i passed on that maybe you would have picked up was there something that i picked up that you would have also picked up drop those comments i love hearing from y'all and until next time i appreciate all of you guys peace